So here I am at Oracle Open World with one of my favorite people in the whole world that I actually met on Twitter, thank you. And what we want to talk about is analytics and how is it playing into the new world that we've created here with all these CRM, SCRM, social media. What is your thought on this? Yeah, that's actually a great question because it's it's been occupying most of my mind the last few weeks. But here's the situation. I mean, there's, there's two parts to analytics. There's the measurement and collecting and finding the right things and everything, which that's easy. Anybody can do that, right? Once you figure out your metrics, just go collect them, pick them up and put them in a report and all that. And that's fine. But if you really think about it, the, 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 the true meaning of becoming social is collecting feedback. And feedback is unstructured. And unstructured moving to structure is doable. But the problem is that once you have a structure, what do you do with it? Right. Feedback is useless unless you have an actionable insight behind it. And you know, I think I read a Gartner report a while back, because I used to be a Gartner uh, client, and it said something like enterprise feedback management systems, something <laughs> like all these statistics, hardly anybody measures. If they measure, they don't know what to do with it. And so maybe 5% actually do something with it, right. and like 1% actually... Um, actually tell the customer that they yep. heard them and they made changes. So you're right. I mean, we, we're kind of in this mode of having these databases and there's a bunch of stuff in the database, but a database without human interaction is just a pile of technology, right? right? See, and, and that's the problem. It's like, you know, by the way, this is statistics got better. Now we got, you know, 35% doing something about it and 5% telling their customers, which is still nothing comparatively speaking. but. But see, the, the, the interesting thing about analytics is like, if we collect information and we don't, we don't do anything with it, it just dies. Information has a very, very limited shelf life, right? And, and right. once information is dead, it's no use. I mean, I can, go, I can go back two months and look at, you know, what somebody thought of me two months ago, but more than likely, if they were upset, they already left. If they were satisfied, <laughs> they're not anymore. <laughs> right. And if they were neither, they're in one, they, they, they're satisfied or satisfied now. So right. Have, it doesn't Stuff do happens, right? Stuff yeah. happens, people change. People have an emotion, you need to know who's having the emotion, is it relevant, and then how do you respond, how do you interact, what does the data really mean? Exactly, and you know, talk about what the data really means, I mean, we have all these companies jumping into social media, and then social media monitoring, writing a Radiant 6, and, and uh, uh, visible. visible technologies, and Neighborhood America, and, and all these Omniture. guys, Omniture, Intelligent, I mean, all these guys are like doing something, but all they're doing is capturing, if you really think about it. Monitoring means that they monitor, right? So they go right. out, put 10 keywords and two phrases, they go to every single blog and website and Twitter and channels and everything in the world, collect information, bring it back, and here's your information. Here's what people are saying about you. And now comes the role of analytics, which is truly taking that information and doing something with it. You know, figuring out what's the cost for the comment, what's the, what's, you know, what's the effect of the comment, uh, how can you act on it, what are you going to do about it, all these actionable insights that basically no, nobody's doing right now. See, what's crazy to me is if I had a customer and the customer was happy or not happy, that's the first thing I would want to know to make sure that I made the company and the customer happy. And yet, we talk about customer experience, we talk about the voice of the customer, and yet we're still really not doing that. I mean, is this an executive level oversight that they just don't get the value of data? <laughs> well, I would say no, because they, it's in, yes and no. It's an oversight in the sense that they do get the value of data. They know that data, data is what's, what is at. Right. They just don't know what to do with it. And there's ah. nobody in the organization that knows what to do with it. And there's a few vendors here and there that are starting to like figure out and you know, try to, to, to you know, I just met with Attensity today and they have a really cool product. And hmm. you know, Oracle has some, some analytics on their own and all this stuff. But really nobody has quite put you know, two and two together to just know what to do with it. And the, the true value of social media, if you're going to do this, the true value is actually analyzing the data it's just driving actionable insights, which means yep. what does it mean and what do I do? And then doing it, and, and that's when you start going to see the real value. And that's what you're going to say, hey, who needs ROI? Look at what I can do. It's like, you know, the return on investment. I mean, all of a sudden you change your entire company and, and you get 20%, you know, 20 increase in revenues because of one small change that you didn't even know that you needed, but your clients did. Right, you didn't know, you didn't know. And what I really see is social media as a business transformation tool. If you have the analytics, and if you do something with them. Absolutely. You know, I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday, and they said, you know, the, 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 the biggest, the, the most insightful and the deepest thought that I heard in the last 10 years, we know... Was for we me? 
I, I know. I don't remember. Actually, <laughs> I think they said that the, the, the phrase is like, we know what we know. Right. We know what we don't know, but we don't know what we don't, we don't know. Yes. Or something like that. I don't remember how the whole convoluted logic works, but said, yep. if you really think about it in the world of analytics, that's what we are. Yep. We don't know what we don't know. And we're missing out because we don't know how to do what to do about it. Okay, and so that, tell us, give us like a one minute synopsis. I'm a company, I'm doing social media, I'm monitoring, I'm listening. Besides call you for consulting, <laughs> <laughs> what else does, what should a company do? What are like three things that they could do? It's pretty simple. First of all, monitoring is worthless. If you're just monitoring, just throw it away. Get rid of it. it doesn't Wasting work. your time. Wasting your time. It's, it's the same, it's the equivalent of doing you know, transactional CRM. It's just collecting information that yeah. doesn't go anywhere. Right, and we, we learned that you know that lesson a long time ago. So, forget about monitoring. I mean, if you really want to attack social media, so, you know, there's three things you need to do. Number one, know the communities. And communities is, is an interesting concept because I'm not talking about you know the the, the lithium and help streams of the world that build a community. I'm talking about like know where your customers you know enter communities. They could be temporary, they could be short lived, uh, long lived. Know where they are and go there and pick up the information from there because you can monitor what everybody's saying about you. But if they're not your customers, it doesn't bring you any value. Right. Right. People can hate you in Bangalore, but you don't have any product in Bangalore. It really doesn't matter. Right. So know your communities, go there, understand your communities, go there and pick up the information. Second of all, analyze the information. Don't just collect it. I mean, truly, monitor that, but analyze it. The analyzing of the information is critical to, to the value. And third, once you analyze it, once you start getting to see the cause and effect and what works and what doesn't, implement it. And those, those are the three things. I mean, if you really build a strategy around that, that's when you start seeing the value behind social media. And that's the way it is, according to Esteban, <laughs> here at Oracle World 2009. Thank you. Thank you.